everybody welcome back to my channel it's Abby with Abby reviews and new show alert I repeat new show alert so first things first hi babies it's been a minute um, since I've done this I feel like I'm out of practice since the new move I haven't done a review recap so chasing LA this is the newest offering from tracing the reality brand for my lovely Andario Reese G and the executive producer of this particular franchise, Quentin T. Harris. Now, we are in the new abode. As you can see, we're at the new place. We're lounging on the sofa. You know, I'm your bougetto auntie because I'm drinking Red Bull from a stimulus wine glass. Still, let's jump into this show and see what's about to go down, shall we? I'm ready. Let's go. Already starting off with a new intro. Come on here. Come on here. Uh, So we two minutes in and all we've seen is the super trailer of all the shenanigans that are potentially going to happen this season. That was cute. We could have did without that. I would have just, can we just not jump straight into this? You could have saved this for the end. Like happening this season. He, he, okay. Before right. we get to the new people, I would just like to say, yeah, shout out to the power of three. Of course. Quentin is the first person who's introduced because he is the reason that there is a chase in LA because he moved out to Los Angeles. And of course, he, the first people that he bring over to start the season off, is of course, his two besties, the Oliver Twix and Miss Lauren England. <laughs> this, this little power of three moment makes me very happy. But let's get to the new people, shall we? So, we are introduced to Jayla. Jeremy and Mr. Ray, who are supposed to be, I guess, the nucleus of this group. Um, Q is going to lean on Mr. Ray because he's not going to be in the spotlight. He doesn't want to be in the spotlight. So he said he would be counting on Mr. Ray. And now we've been introduced to the official King Payne. Now, I have known, heard many things about L.A., but one thing I do know is they ain't never got weather where you need a bubble coat. I don't understand what's happening here. I am confusion. Let me keep watching because maybe he'll explain why he's wearing this hot ass coat in LA. Okay. So first, firstly, maybe it is cold because this baby got on a coat too. He's having lunch with his best friend Armand. I don't know what their discussion is going to be yet. We ain't even got into that. I'm just disturbed by y'all got these hot ass coats on in the middle of fucking L.A. That's disturbing to my spirit because I don't like the cold. So I don't understand what's happening here. Second of all, this young man has said period to the periana to the period at least four times. Please don't say it anymore. Thank you. So Armand is giving... King Payne, some advice, you know, make sure check your circle. Make sure you're strategic in your friends and your enemies. Um, make sure that you are making the correct connections and you chasing your dream and not finna be a cute bum out here in these streets. Talking about you chasing your dream, but you're really pushing the cart down Skid Row. I'm gonna need them to do something. It seems windy, but Growing Pains is a brand new show. We're gonna let them have that. There's a networking event apparently that's happening tonight that he wants to go to, and hopefully he can make some connections there. We'll see what happens. Auntie. <clears throat> that lighting was a little homophobic. Okay, so we've met Andre, who is um, currently um, doing costume design for a film called You Married That. It sounds very straight to DVD, but... I don't know. It could go onto a streaming platform and it could be available to watch right now. I don't know. But uh, Andre seems like he's a very successful young man. He has multi, he's very seems very multi-talented. Um, he sounds uh, very like he's about uplifting and connecting with people and stuff like that. But from upcoming scenes, it also looks like if you try him, he's going to try you right back. So... Let's get past Auntie and see what the hell is going on, shall okay, we? Okay, so I just had to pause it. Um, this is D. Hawkins. 
I'm not exactly sure why he's dressed as bondage Catwoman just yet. I don't know what's happening. This is a lot. This is a whole lot. This baby is doing a whole lot. Listen, we're at the mixer. King Payne is there. Um, Hershey, the drag queen, Hershey, um, LaCour Jete is there. Baby girl named Alicia is there. Andre is there. King Payne is already doing a lot with people he don't know. <clears throat> he is so good by asking uh, what everybody does. And when Hershey says that he's a drag queen, he was like, do you make much money doing that? Because the girls I know, you know, they don't be picking up much money. Rude for no reason, just no reason, just no reason. I'm and I and I really can't concentrate on what else was said because this baby looks like bondage cat. Let's figure out what's happening. Let's move on. We already started with the bullshit. Okay, so it can't just be a conversation where everybody just gets to know each other, just normal small talk around the table. This nigga says, who in the group don't you see it for? Do you have known each other for 42 seconds? What the fuck do you even mean? And he's tired. He's and he's only basing it off of what material goods that he's seen the people like show up with. Like if they had a bag or something, he's like, I see all of these bags except for you. And he turns again on Hershey. And Hershey, of course, is taking it in stride. He's like, my bills is paid, darling. So, you know, I don't, and he keeps harping on the fact that he don't think drag queens make money. What the, f what drag queens is you around that's not making money? And so now Andre is giving him some pushback and now he got an attitude. Why? Why? Pause, Catwoman. Pause. Um, so again, I say Hershey is going to be my spirit animal. Because while King Payne and Andre are whoop de wooing across this motherfucking table, he's like, where's the waitress? Because I know I ordered a refill. And when he got his refill, he over there, I swear to God, he's singing Negro spirituals, drinking that Pepsi. Why these niggas is going at it? Fran is trying to calm Andre down. Nobody's trying to calm down King Payne. Because King Payne bought the energy. And now he's got an attitude that someone matched his little shitty ass energy. Baby... If this going to be what the whole season is, Lord God, fix it, Jehovah Jehovah. that was the end of the first episode. Let's get into <laughs> my final thoughts. Jesus Christ on the okay, cross. Okay, so for a first episode, that was, that was a lot. It was a whole damn lot. That was a whole, whole lot. I don't, <sighs> King Pain, why? Why would you do that? Like, I'm looking at you like you and your attitude and how you acted. Your energy is what jumped off everything that started. And I feel like whatever it transpires after this, I'm laying it squarely at your feet. Because I feel like the energy that you presented at this networking um, situation was inappropriate. <laughs> it was inappropriate. It wasn't cute. It wasn't the thing. Why is that the question that you ask within 42 seconds of knowing a group of people? Who you don't who see you it for? And then have a nerve to get an attitude when that same energy is met by someone else. When they not because Hershey wasn't engaging you in your in your bull. Because you picked him out as like the weak link and you tried him twice when he said that he was a drag queen. And you tried his his ability to make money or or take care of himself or whatever. And when he didn't give you what you was looking for, you then got into it with Andre because Andre matched your bullshit energy. That's not cute, love. It's just not. I'm sorry. Now, I have seen you a couple of times on the gentleman's panel. Um... You never made a lasting impression on me. Not that I can't think of anything. 
Um, you've never made a lasting impression on me on the gentleman's panel because I've only seen you participate maybe uh, most maybe twice because I don't normally watch it. Um, however, the energy that you presented at this networking event, like I was cool with you when you were sitting at the table with your friend and he was giving you advice and you were having conversations and stuff and it was cute, fun energy. But it really became dry stank coochie energy at that table when you was like, who you don't see it for within 32 seconds of meeting people. That's not, that's not it, daughter. That's, that's not it. It's not. Sir, sir, that's not it. That's not it. That's not, that's not the T. It's not cute at all. It's not. It's absolutely not. I'm so sorry. Hopefully we get to know more people. Hopefully there's more than just arguments all season between different factions of people. I'm looking forward to it. I can't wait for the next episode. Um, that was, I feel like I just yelled at King Payne and that's it. But that was, I had a good impression. Of course, you know, my favorite already is Hershey. I've made no secret of that. Um, I feel like he's going to continue his energy at the table and not giving you that foolishness back. Just says to me that he drinks his waters. He uses his butters and minds his business. And I stand, let me tell you, that's my recap and review of Chasing LA Season 1, Episode 1. Please, sirs and ma'ams, like, comment, and subscribe. Tell a friend to tell a kid. Also, shout out to Chocolate Beauty. Girl, I just think I, I, I'm down with your hustle, boo. Get your subscribers. Get, get your monetization, boo. But like I was saying, like, comment, and subscribe. Tell a friend to tell a kid. And I will catch you in the next one. Peace.